Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Retrolectors. Doing a pickup video. It's something that I don't normally do, especially for the NES. I don't normally collect for the NES. A childhood friend messaged me and asked me if I was interested in any NES games. I saw the list that he had. I was really, really interested in them just because simply that I don't have many NES games and a lot of the games that he had were games that I uh, had as a child and I really did enjoy. And two of the games of uh, this entire lot were for Danny. So I'm great friend that I am and great brother-in-law that I am I decided to pick that up for Danny as well Nick my childhood friend he uh, hooked me up with the bro prices on all these it was a, a lot deal it was a great great deal he gave me uh, he's a fellow collector as well he's actually 686 NES games he's very close to completion much like Danny and it was unbelievable catching up with him we were talking about video games for hours I got to his place around 7 o'clock we were talking until about 10, 11 o'clock, just about video games and collecting and the hobby and how good it is and how bad it is in certain areas. So much fun. Thanks again, Nick, for hooking me up. First up, Tetris. You know, it's a great game. My wife, I'm sure she's gonna love playing this. This is a game that, you know, when you're a kid, you bought right off the right off the bat and your parents used to love playing it. So now I'm a parent, so I guarantee we're gonna end up enjoy playing it. So I'm really happy to add this to the collection. And all these labels are really good condition. One is a little bit rough, but it doesn't matter. It's going straight into my collection, so it doesn't make a difference to me. Uh, Mario Brothers Black Label. I already have Mario Brothers Duck Hunt in the collection, but uh, so a Black Label Mario Brothers, great addition. Excite Bike, another Black Label game. And again, I'm not going for anything in particular. I'm getting games that I had when I was a kid, and I'm really happy to have this into the collection. Just like I said, with all these games, Jaws LJN. I played this just recently to make sure it was working. It's not that bad. I kind of enjoyed it. It was just trying to figure out what you had to do. Much like any other NES game, it doesn't take much to figure out what you needed to do. And I liked it. It's not as bad as people may think, or if you think if it's bad, it's up to you, but I, I didn't mind it. WrestleMania, not that great, but I, I had when I was a kid WrestleMania Challenge, but still happy to add this. The Hulkster on the, on the wall, it's not too bad. This is a game that I had, and I was very, very happy to add it back to my collection. This game was, I remember playing this when I was a kid and so many memories, anger got into this game. Getting to the dam and going through the, the seaweed level, oh my god, the anger that was behind this game. But it was still so much fun, swapping out your characters, swapping, starting off with Raphael and trying to go to you know, save Donatello to the end. Great, great game. I still have never beat it and hopefully one day I do, but uh, I'm glad to have this to my collection. A little Konami fun. Goonies 2, I played it, didn't know what I had to do. I have to maybe be uh, like YouTube what I had to do. There's a lot of doors and stuff like that, much like an Indiana Jones game that I, I have on uh, Tengen. It's a game that you're going into doors, different things. You're, I, I don't know what I was supposed to be doing, but you know what, it's a great little addition anyways. Contra, so I already have this uh, in my collection, so I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I kind of feel bad actually, you know, trying to flip it because Nick gave me a really good price on it. So I'm not sure if I, what I'm gonna do with it. I may just keep it as an, a double if my other one doesn't work. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. But uh, again, great little addition. Thriller Safari, it's a great little game. I didn't realize that it's actually up there in rarity, I guess you could say. It's on the NES Collector, it's about an eight. So I've played a little bit of it. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It's, it looks like uh, kind of an excite bike kind of thing where you're trying to get to the end of the course as quickly as possible without getting hurt or without falling or, or you only have one hit to, to play the character. So if you fall and you get hit, you have to start all over again. But it's a little fun little game, another little LGN game. Super Mario Brothers 2 to go with my black label. So now I can finish off the Mario 1, 2, and 3. Still missing the world uh, track meet, Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. I'm, I don't really care if I get it, but I'm glad to add this. So again, this is uh, straight in. I played this as a kid, rented this a lot when I was a kid. Great, great game. Now we're gonna get into the games for Danny. Danny still, he's about 650, much like Nick in that collection, where you need a lot of commons to finish off your collection. And Danny, now he's going into the variances. Blades of Steel, Red Label. I think this is the Canadian version of, uh, of Blades of Steel. I have, and he has the silver version. I'm not sure, again, not sure if it's the American version, but he needed this variant, so there you go, Danny. And Super C, which is a nice little addition. It completes his Contra. I was debating whether to keep this for myself, but I decided to give this to Danny. It was a great little little deal that uh, Nick gave me. It's a great, great game. I played it uh, before uh, to make sure it was working all well, and it's a uh, great game. It's much like Contra 1. The stages are a little bit different than Contra 1, 
uh, more of like a 3D type of element or like that you're running on horizontal planes as opposed to vertical planes, which is, which is really good. Great, great game. Thanks a lot, Nick, for reaching out to me and asking if I needed any of these games for my collection. I'll get back to you if, uh, if we need anything to trade or more trades. He's got a lot more stuff that he was uh, looking to trade with me, but you know, money was uh, a little bit tight, but I'm glad that he actually reached out to me and added these little games to, to my collection. So thanks a lot, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that little bell in the corner to let you guys know when a new video comes up because a lot of people are telling us that a lot of videos aren't going into their feeds. You guys are our subscribers and we'd love to get content out to you guys, but unfortunately, there's a lot of YouTube issues that aren't allowing that to happen. So hit that bell. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys.